Alexander the Great's most brilliant yet risky maneuver, the cavalry feint at Gogamela. The year is 331 BC. Alexander has just crushed the elite Persian infantry at the Battle of Gogamela. But his Macedonian cavalry is exhausted, and his officers are afraid that Darius A's horse is too strong to engage. So Alexander comes up with a plan. He will pretend to retreat, hoping to lure the Persians into a devastating trap. Our animation begins with the Macedonian wedge formation riding towards the river. The plan calls for a dual map perspective. So let's check out the setup from the air. We can see Darius' army is stretched thin, but he has two powerful wings that could still turn the tide of battle. His right wing is led by the general, who is eager to avenge his fallen brother and secure a victory for the king. Meanwhile, our boy is exhausted and wants nothing more than to get to the river and take a nice long bath. But, alas, the general's orders are to keep riding until the Macedonians reach the river. And so we ride on. Okay, now let's get back to the general. Things aren't looking good for him. His horse is exhausted and he's surrounded by enemy cavalry. But then he sees an opening and charges through the Macedonian lines. For a moment, it looks like he might make it to the river, but then his horse's fatigue algorithm triggers. See, horses need to take breaks every once in a while or they'll pass out from exhaustion. And this would be bad for the general, except that there is no one around to help because all of his soldiers are also busy dealing with their own fatigue. It's a tough break. Meanwhile, back at the main force, Alexander is making a stand. He knows that if he can hold out just a little longer, his cavalry will reach the river and the battle will be won. Suddenly, a dust cloud particle system obscures Darius's vision, allowing Alexander to lead his men to safety. And that's why.